Hey everyone, I'm Justin and welcome back to Aquavita Woodworks. Uh, I recently started this woodworking channel a few weeks ago and I'm getting a lot of subscribers. Uh, I have like 115 at the time I'm making this video, which is a lot for me. Uh, so yeah, give me a like and a subscribe. It keeps me motivated to keep making these. Anyway, uh, so today I'm going to be trying to make one of these stools. This one was actually a gift that I got from a friend and as soon as I saw it I realized that I wanted to try to make one on my own. It has some pieces that are letters that come out like a puzzle and the legs screw into brackets. Uh, the one that I'm going to build I'm going to try to do all on the CNC machine so I'm not going to use any metal hardware uh, because I'm cheap and we have wood we can use. So I'll make one that's just as sturdy if not sturdier uh, using wood supports and I think I'm going to space the letters out a bit. So the name I'm going to use is Maisie, M-A-I-S-Y, which is for my wife's cousin's child that was just born the same time my daughter was pretty much. So yeah, let's head on over into SketchUp and see what we can come up with for a design. All right, so this is the design I came up with. It's about the same size as that stool I showed in the intro, and it just uses four different components. There's two legs, a brace holding them together, and then the top of the stool. Uh, everything is held together with pockets that the joints just kind of push into. And as you can see, I put some circles in the corners, and that's just because with the CNC machine, since the bits are round, it can't carve inside corners. It's kind of like trying to push a round Roomba into a corner to vacuum. You're always going to miss that inside corner. So I just made the circles in the corners and that should make everything fit nice and snug. Once I was satisfied with my design, I laid out all the components on the same plane and exported the file as a full scale DXF file. Once that's downloaded, I can export it or import it rather into Carbide Create. After pulling in that file, I started with the legs and cross brace. I ended up adding my name to the brace just because why not, a little recognition. And then I assigned tool paths. The first path is a V-carve with a 90 degree V-bit, and then a pocket tool path with a eighth inch down cut, and then an outside contour with that same eighth inch down cut. And I also added some tabs to make everything stay in place. After that, I assigned tool paths for the bottom of the stool for these two pockets, and those also use the eighth inch down cut bit at 0.25 inch depth. Once the bottom is finished, I can move on to the top where my text is gonna be. As you can see here, there's two different texts. The top one, it has an offset of 0.02 inches to the outside, so those bottom letters will fit into it nicely. So I pocket out the top area and then do an outside contour cut for the bottom letters on my 0.5 inch stock material. This will make a little bit more sense later on in the video when you actually see me cut these out. After I had all my files saved, I cut down my material to size and got ready to carve. So the first carve I'm gonna do is the legs and brace, and this is from the quarter inch piece of pine, and I'm gonna clamp it down to my machine, and it's important to note that when you clamp pine down, especially pine, because it warps a little bit, you can see that there's kind of a bow, it cups, so you want to make sure that you cup down the sides. So basically you want it resting so it kind of rocks back and forth and that way when you put the clamps down, it pulls down the whole piece flat. At least it's how it works in my mind. So I'm going to clamp this down and then we're going to carve it. That first carve worked out great and all my pieces fit together. Now I can move on to the stool, starting with the bottom and the two pockets with an eighth inch down cut bit, and then moving on to the top, which is just the same piece flipped over with a quarter inch down cut bit, pocketing out the spaces for the letters. This is one inch thick edge glued teak and I'm pocketing it out at 0.5 inch depth. And like I said earlier, these pockets are 0.02 inch bigger offset to the outside than the carve that I'm going to show right now. This is a piece of half inch pine that I'm going to attach to my waste board with double sided tape because I am going to cut all the way through it in order to get the letters out. And these letters should fit nicely into the pockets I made earlier. 
now that all my carves are done, I spent a good amount of time cleaning up everything with sandpaper, and then I gave everything a dry fit to make sure that it fit as it was supposed to. Up next, I drew some curves on the top of my stool, cut it out on the bandsaw, which I forgot to record, sanded it smooth with my spindle sander, and then rounded over the edges with my router table. All right, so all of my stool components are cut out with the CNC machine and sanded up to 220 grit sandpaper. I did that off camera because it's boring sanding in person and you don't need to watch me do it. Uh, one thing to note here is that I made a mistake on these legs and bracket. So earlier I showed you that they fit together nicely, which is true, but the mistake I made is that these pockets in here uh, I carved too shallow. They should have been carved at 0.5 inch depth and I carved them at 0.25. So in order to fix that, I just cut off a quarter inch on each end of the support bracket uh, and now everything fits together nicely. So I'm gonna glue this together and I'm gonna glue it to the stool top and I'm gonna finish this with a spray lacquer. And as for the letters, I am going to paint the tops of them, uh, five different colors. Actually, I'll do four different colors. So it'll be red, green, yellow, blue, red. Yeah, I think that works. And then I'll spray those with lacquer. So yeah, paint, lacquer, and we'll be good to go. Let's get to gluing and painting. So my glue is dry, this thing is super sturdy, and my finish is dry enough to play around with at least. And here's the final result. This is the stool itself, and the letters fit nicely. Now that it's done, we can go over some of the mistakes I made, starting with the letters fit nicely, uh, almost too nicely, so you can't get them out. The only way to get them out is to kind of hit it on the table and they do come out eventually. I don't know if I should fix that by either making pocket holes, not pocket holes or screws, but finger holes I mean to scoop them out, or if I can just make the tolerance a little bigger uh, with the finish and paint on there. I'm not that worried about it. This is a really good prototype. Uh, another mistake I made is that I put my Aqua Vita Woodworks logo on the wrong side. It should be over here, that way when you flip it, the name is right, but whatever. I don't really care about that. That's just an easy fix by flipping it when I glued it together. I was kind of rushing through it. Uh, other than that, aesthetically, I mean, I could have put some stain on this pine, make it a little more interesting, uh, make it pop a little bit. I could have painted my logo. Um, I don't know. I was kind of rushing through this project to make this video, and I was just excited to make it. Um, but I'm really happy with how it came out. I will put the file for this. Uh, on my Etsy page, the link is down below, and use the code YouTube if you want to buy that file. Obviously, you're going to have to put your own text in using whatever CAD program you use, but you should be able to do that. Uh, and just remember, the tolerance I used for this is 0 0.02 inch of the offset. Maybe we use 0 0.03, and you'll be good. Uh, either way, thanks for watching, and like I said before, hit the subscribe button, and we'll see you next time. Thanks, guys.